Hi everyone, welcome to Easy Recipes with Twist.com. My name is Victoria and today I'm here with my friends at RecipeLion.com who asked me to produce a video on this beautiful pesto pasta. Uh, basil is in season now, so this is season of fresh and fragrant recipe. I hope you will enjoy it and stay tuned! To make fresh pesto you will need two cups of basil I'm using leaves and stalks, you can use only leaves black pepper um, olive oil, extra virgin one preferably Ligurian one, it's less fruity and less pungent but I don't have unfortunately, I have only fruity one salt half cup Parmigiano Reggiano, freshly grated and nuts, you can use pine nuts or walnuts I'm using walnuts here and three garlic cloves. I'm serving it this time with pasta. I'm using spaghetti, whole wheat spaghetti, but you can use any pasta you like. Bring the water to boil, add the salt, quite a bit of salt, about one tablespoon, and add pasta. it to boil the water and let it cook for 9 to 12 minutes or until it's al dente stay. Meanwhile, take your um, nuts and garlic and bleach them for a minute or so. Cover the lid and bleach. Now, add, add your um, basil to the party. Leave a couple of beautiful stalks just for garnish later. I love to leave those. And add everything else inside. You see I'm using all the parts of the stamp as well. It's packed with flavor. Don't lose this flavor. Now, start, sorry for the noise, but start blending it. Leave the opener open and we will add a little bit of olive oil each time. Now, when it started to be blended, add a little bit of salt, just a bit, and continue to blitz it with a little bit of olive oil in. That's it, now it's done and you can add your cheese inside and just blitz to mix it together and the pesto basically is done. It's gorgeous, beautiful. Take your serving dish, take the pasta, drain it and hold a little bit of water back place it inside, add the pesto, basil pesto in, couple of tablespoons for this amount of pasta, it looks amazing, I can tell, smells, I wish you were here, it's those type of dishes that smell all your house with goodness and just amazing and add a little bit of water, cooking water inside, just to loosen up the, the sauce and mix it. Mm, pale green goodness. I think that's it pretty much. The dish is done. 
you see how easy to make pesto and you can use it in an enormous amount of recipes like sandwiches and um, vegetables and meats and uh, I will show you in the next recipes how I'm using this pesto with that's it it's good mix ah I think I need another tablespoon of pesto here and I'm mixing it well nice very nice very gorgeous dish I'm placing just for garnish one of beautiful uh, basil leaves and I'm adding a little bit of uh, Parmigiano Reggiano freshly grated on top I think you can't avoid a little bit more Parmigiano Reggiano it just wouldn't be right that's it it's pretty much done let's try our creation I love basil I'm eating it everywhere and I love just love it mm. Mm. fresh basil the nuts the parmigiano are mm, so fragrant so pungent I hope you will enjoy it I hope you will make it and don't forget to subscribe write me a comment thumbs up me and cheers Victoria cover the lid and bleed okay.